hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to consume web API in MVC to search records from SQL server database and here we got the final output uh, notice the header tags consume web API in MVC to search records from SQL server database below we got the records from the EMP table and above we got the text box control and button control to search the employee name so let's add the employee name I want to search the Peter record if I type P and I click search see here we got the Peter here if I type Charan we got the Charan details Bumshi See here we got the WAMC record. That's it. We have consumed the web API. This is a web API. And this web API we have consumed in this MVC project to search records from SQL Server Database. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in web API, first we'll check the table in SQL Server Management Studio. For this demo purpose, I'm using the table name EMP table, which contains five columns, EMP ID, EMP name, designation, department, and joining date. Now my aim is, I want to search records based on the employee name using web API. After that, we'll consume that web API in MVC. So let's open Visual Studio to write the coding part. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new web API application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Web API Search Records MVC. It's a project name. Click OK. And from the ASP.NET templates, I'm selecting Web API. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. First, in this project, I'm adding ADWord.NET Entity Data Model. Right click the project name. Add ADWord.NET Entity Data Model. I'm selecting that one. The item name of the model I'm giving search. Click OK. And from the model contents, I'm selecting the first option EF Designer from database. Click Next. Let's create a new connection. I'm adding my SQL server name. After adding SQL Server name, now I'm selecting the database name. The table I have created in the sample DB database, so I'm selecting the database sample DB test connection. Is succeeded? Okay. Okay. And here we got our connection string, and the connection string name is the sample DB entities, and I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file click next now let's select the database objects and expanding the table subject as well as dbo the table name is the emp table this one i'm selecting that one click finish and here we got our entity model let's close this output message box after adding the EMP table entity model to our project, and next open Solution Explorer. Let's minimize the references folder. Now in this project, there is a controllers folder. I'm adding the new web API controller in this controllers folder. I click the controllers folder, add. Let's select the controller. Now I'm selecting the web API to controller empty, add. The controller name is employee search is my api controller name add and here we got our api controller employee search now in this controller 
the first I'm creating the method public ihttp action result the method name I'm adding get emp name make sure the method name prefix with get or you can add the http method here http get method so here i already add the get amp name so i don't require this one so after that now in this function i am adding the variable string variable which is search now in this get amp name now in this function i am adding my connection string entity name which is a sample db entities sd is a object name new sample db entities after that i'm declaring a variable a result in this variable result now here i'm writing the query to search the uh, records so sd dot our table entity name is a emp tables dot where class in this where class i'm adding the x dot lambda expression I want to search with the employee name dot starts with the starts with method takes a string value the value we are getting from this variable search double pi which is a r search double equals to null dot to list method after that a return ok method in this work method I'm adding the variable result that's it we have added the code to search the employee records now before consume this web API into MVC first we require this web API URL for that let's browse this web API controller Google Chrome and here we got the default output of that project which is a home page now we require the web api controller so after the host name i'm adding forward slash api forward slash let's add the controller name which is the employee search i'm adding the api controller name enter and here we got the results of this web api controller in XML format, it's showing some error message. The reason we are passing the variable which is a string search. So let's add employee name employee search question mark. The variable name is search is equals to now table the employee names. I want to search Govind. So let's add the go in here, go in, enter. And here we got the details of the go in. Suppose if I type Charan here, we got the Charan details. So now let's consume this web API into MVC. Let's switch back to the coding part. Stop debugging. Open Solution Explorer. Now in the same controllers folder, I'm adding MVC controller. So I click the controllers folder. Add controller. Now this time I'm selecting MVC file controller MT. Add. The controller name is search records. Is my MVC controller name? Add. And here we got our MVC controller search records. I'm implementing HTTP client class to consume the web API. So I'm adding the namespace using system.net.http namespace. After that, in the public action result index, I'm adding um, I enumerable. And this i enumerable the out t type we are getting from the 
the table name which is the EMP table let's create the object is equals to now after that let's consume the web API using HTTP client class HC is an object new HTTP client let's see dot base address is equals to new URI and this URI method takes a parameter string so between double quotes I'm adding the web URL let's add a employee search paste here semicolon after we got the base address let's consume the data consume api is equals to um, let's see dot get async method the get async method takes a string parameter the request uri so between again double quotes i'm adding the controller name web api controller name here let's add that one so i don't require this one and plus search here now we are passing the variable from the web api controller search so here after question mark search is equals to plus in the action result index let's create a string variable search and this search is for to search the records semicolon consume consume api dot weight property after we consume the record now let's read the data read data is equals to consume api dot result property if read data dot e success status score if the data is read successfully from this web api i want to display for that i'm declaring a another variable to display the data is equals to read data dot content dot uh, read as async method in this async method i list the t type of the elements we are getting from this emp table semicolon display data dot wait method now I want to display this data using this object which is the I enumerable object object is equals to display data dot result property in the return view let's add this object action i enumerable object here and that's it we have consumed the web api in this mvc controller now the last step we require this action result index view page before adding the index view page we must build the application first build build solution and here we got a message build succeeded let's close this output message box now let's add an index view page select the index method action result right click the mouse add view the view name is index only the template I'm selecting the list template and the model class we don't have any model class here so I'm selecting the EMP table after the data context class which is a sample DB entities click add and here we got our index view page now the I'm changing the header of this index view page consume web API in MVC to search records h3 from SQL Server Database. After that, I'm adding horizontal line. Now, in this index view page, I don't require this action create. 
and also I don't require this edit details and delete links also so I'm deleting that those all I'm adding at using using HTML dot begin form method in this begin form method the first parameter I'm adding the action result name which is the index this view page name which is the index after that comma and the second parameter takes a controller name our MVC controller name is a uh, search records copy this one and paste here between double quotes comma and the form method dot get now in this form method get I'm adding two controls two HTML elements one is a text box control and the second one is a button control so let's add the span tag in this span tag enter employee name semicolon here we add the semicolon let's add that text box control input input type is equals to text and the name the name we are getting is a such placeholder enter employee name let's close the input element after that I'm adding the button control input type is equals to submit value is equals to such and the name is submit let's close the input control also the button control let's put this in the center tag I'm closing this center tag after the at using that's it we have done the complete coding part first we have added the adio.net entity data model of the EMP table second we have created the API controller we have implemented the code to search the records the next we have consumed the web API into this MVC controller then we have added the index view page of that controller now before run the example the most important we have to change the controller name so to change the controller name open solution explorer in the project there is a app underscore start folder expand that one notice here the route config.cs file open that one see here the controller name home which is a default one delete that one and our controller name is such records you have to add the MVC controller name and the action result which is the index view page which is this one that's it we have done the complete coding part it's time to check the results Google Chrome and here we got the final output a notice the header tags consume web API and MVC to such records from SQL Server database Below we got the records from the EMP table and above we got the text box control and button control to search the employee name. So let's add the employee name. I want to search the Peter record if I type P and I click search. So here we got the Peter here. If I type Charan, we got the Charan details. Bumshi. See here we got the WAMC record. That's it. We have consumed the web API. This is a web API. And this web API we have consumed in this MVC project to search records from SQL Server database. 